for the show. Hold on. Good God, I'm all over. I don't even know where to go now. I got too much crap open. Uh, we got the beat. We've got the beat. We've got the beat. Overnight, man. I know how it is. I used to, I, I used to have a uh, security job working uh, graveyard shift. Uh, oof. Played a lot of Facebook Tetris in those days. Uh, right. Why did I just go grab this link? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. What am I doing? Oh, I'm leaving the link to uh, the subreddit. That's right. Okay, there. In case anybody ever remembered what this was. And we're back. Well, DDH, uh, it was pretty much me and Pool for like the last hour last night. Now it's the m me and DDH show. So, where shall we go first? Or can we talk about my beloved Orioles? I don't know. Was I supposed to play this? Or were we supposed to listen to the motivational speech? I think you're that might have been part of the problem. God damn it. Because, dude, I went and I hit right here on this. Uh, this is the software for streaming, right? And I hit start stream, but I forgot to open this thing over here. So, I started it. And then realized, oh crap, it didn't generate like a link or anything. So I stopped it. Then I started it again after having set everything up right. And now I'm wondering if that means people who normally find it a certain way now can't find it. I don't know. But man, it's just you? <sighs> You're all fucked in the head. Yeah, yeah, we can just skip. We can skip the motivational speech. Hey, pool. Okay. All right. A little. We're, we're getting there. My God. My God. I figured between uh, my boo hooing over the loss of Paul Rubens, my five minute Barbie rant, which really has nothing to do with why most people are ranting about it, you are on, Mr. Shrug, and welcome. Uh, and I also spent like the last 45 minutes. I went almost three hours uh, talking uh, baseball. So last night's stream, not exactly in line with the traditional style. But uh, look, here's the deal. Uh, you know, stuff happens and I just I just go with the flow. OK, hold on. Let me at least do this. Oh, God, I look like shit. This isn't. Oh, uh, hey, pool in uh, I'm DDH. I'm not trying to do this just, uh, you know prove a point or some shit I'm, I'm just doing it just to see if it is bad like uh pool like can you hear me okay how's the audio sounding am i coming through uh clear and at least somewhat loud everything okay with there all right so yeah qvc reddit is back i'm posting back on there again posting on the uh squabbles i have no idea if this is gonna take off ever and i keep opening extra tabs of Twitter because I keep looking for the little blue bird on my tab and it's never there. I keep forgetting it's already open because of this stupid branding that everybody j is just laughing at. God, has anybody this rich been this just out of touch? Like, God, dude. Okay. Hey, thanks, Mr. Shrug. Okay, look, Shrug, let me, let me, let me get down to business here because shrug this could be his first time and i'm saying i'm guessing on the gender based on the uh what do you call it the surname what do you what do you, what do you call the thing in front the mr part whatever all right uh yeah i'm a little scatterbrained we watch uh home shopping channels that's what we do so let's bring some up and let's start with shop lc because tony michelle right we gotta see what's happening Title. Oh, yeah. Yes, a title. Yes, yes. Yes, a title. Okay. That's not Michelle's hand. Look how nice this manicure is. Of course, that's not Michelle's hand. Oh, shit. Mr. Shrug, please tell me you've already subbed to the channel then, because if you want to stick around for, for a bunch of 
pot humor and bathroom talk, along with Orioles talk and talk of really cool music from the 80s and 90s and that sort of thing. Oh, you're in the right place. See, she's already making noise. She ain't even got hers home yet. Uh, this is Susan Vogel. I can't understand she's a goddamn word this man's saying. She's saying. Night are, uh, stunning, and what great prices. Thank you, Susan, from Bold, Boulder. Uh, thank you so much. We uh, Thanks, Mr. Shrug. Was that Colorado, recently, Colorado, or excuse me, not Colorado. did I just hit um, 181? So this is how small my channel is. It's like, right in. it's a one, it's a one thing at a time thing. Okay, you already did. 180, still. Find a friend, my friend. Okay, now I'm sounding desperate. Never mind. Okay, we have mating jewelry. Is this one of the assistants? Is this one of the assistants that's always talked about, but we've never seen? Thank you, Mr. Shrug. That's a solid number, Mr. Shrug. 180. I mean, we all have to do a 180 in our life at some point, right? Sometimes you just got to turn around. Every now and then I feel a little bit colder because you're never coming around. No, I think it's great. You're doing a great By the way, job. there's a tonight's that? Orioles Patty score. Yeah, Patty lip out. Another uh, series uh, win. Another yeah. series win against a division opponent. But we like uh, to have fun. We, ha we, we scored early. We scored even more late. And 20 seconds longer on this uh, yeah. We, we added Jack Flaherty. We'll see how that goes. Stop at more than this. All right. Uh, so Shop LC is pretty much out of the picture tonight, which means we're going to break out a bingo card. When did this turn into a dude channel? This is so weird. Like when a channel started, only women were coming in, which, you know, I wasn't necessarily, well, not even necessarily. I, I had no problem with that. Now the women seem to have run away and the, and the dudes have taken over. This is like the Barbie movie. My channel is like a microcosm of the Barbie movie. Isn't that wild? Does that make me Ryan Gosling? Wait, let me check my chest. Uh, no. No, nothing like Ryan Gosling. A little more like William the Refrigerator Perry. Okay, tonight's... <laughs> tonight's bingo card. Uh, brought to you by uh, Double Mint Gum. Double Mint Gum. When just a single mint won't do. Okay, uh, we have before is better in a before and after comparison. Any partial shirt tucking, the half tuck, quarter tuck, whatever. Mention of a holiday or anything else four months or more away. By the way, can we please celebrate that we are now in August and the Christmas in July uh, theme for QVC is now gone. Maybe we get a nice solid month of nothing Christmas related. I'm sure they'll pick it back up in September. Because then we're dangerously close to the holidays, right? Ugh. Okay, Jane mentions one of her daughters. David's happy dance. A quack doctor sells snake oil. Stretching an item of clothing or bending a shoe in half. For X amount, gets it home today. That's their flex pay bullshit. Anyone takes a customer call. Any demo involving body fluids or gunk. Doodle do. Jane spackles something on her face. Host goes over the color choices. Host breaks food items slowly in half. Anything related to Isaac Mizrahi. Deneth Batho or Molly. Any lathering of hands, this frickin' guy shows up. Uh, product could double as a bedroom toy. Host relays a BS story how they just use the product. Host laughing hysterically at something that's clearly not funny. Celebrities selling crap. Dramatic slow pouring of sauce. Are there some other kind of food or something? Bottle or glass of wine on the set. Wegman stuff on the counter. And vague health benefits. Okay, Invicta's not on the board. That's where I like to go first to knock one out. So which one looks the best? Let's go to the kitchen because food stuff seems to be the most popular thing on the board. Let's go to the kitchen. Of the versatility in life. Let's go to the videotape. We have Japanese style ebi That's shrimp. Even in your frozen food Tempura section, shrimp. They are using a process. Oh, they're going to break these in half. Powder. It's very How do you not break sweet. this in half? 
Here, the toasted coconut that is on the outside of this when it cooks, I'm gonna it be keeps it pretty mild. So you still have that fresh coconut flavor, but it's not going to be overbearing if you want to toss this with maybe a God, if there's one thing that I can't salsa, stand, it's an overbearing sauce. fried it shrimp really tempura. Be able to take on the elements of those other flavors. Sean's filling in for Jane on Q1. Element of Bad for bingo. I love about the coconut uh, And here is a video. That uh, at the same time, we don't have to endure Jane. Nobashi. So I like to look at the, at the glasses. Half the tail came off. Drinkable. Look at these graphics. What is this like flash animation from like 2002? So that when you get them home, you finish them in your. This looks like that movie Food Fight. Toaster oven or your your main oven. That animation was as about as sad as it gets. Midnight, and we've got some hungry folks working here. Wait, hungry folks? Dine and dash? Waiting for an opportunity to come out and taste. Oh my God, they're about to have a huge dine and dash, and it's not on the board. These delicious shrimp and here's the thing if you're picking up the 90 count you can actually opt for all 90 i know ddh i'm telling you you spend enough time with me we're, we're basically uh sharing the same consciousness so it's, uh, but it's okay minutes. don't worry and look at this beautiful tray this when i won't manipulate you you don't muscle. manipulate right, me and we're good yeah, right yeah. oh look at all so these foodies coming in oh my god they're just going to ransack the place this is the biggest dine and dash in QBC history, and it's not on the board. Can we get a food gasm? Yeah, they got to break it in half, right? You got to show us that tender goodness inside. Even in the original, it's a lot of flavor. It's a lot of flavor in the original. Oh, my God. Hold on. Let me see everybody. Coconut? Yeah. Okay. We got a lot of millennials in here. Not A couple of Gen Zers. I would say it's divine. This poor generation. This is probably the only chance they get to eat all day. Fine, just like you ladies, take one to go. All right. You think you think so, DDH? Oh, now that's a dash. Now that is that is the quintessential all time for the history of my channel, Dine and Dash. You had it all. From QVC, from one of our uh, they, they brought brands. it. I mean, we've been on the air for 37 years. <laughs> In 37 years, the first time we've had a today's special value. They the left brand. like the that police just like busted a, a party. Now, and this is not a new item. If you've already tried the Ebby style Japanese shrimp from Egg Harbor, call us and tell us your experience. Egg Harbor. Yeah, that sounds like right right off the coast of Japan. One is our testimonial line. So from serving right a crowd, 90 mm -hmm. of them, the coconut. Just break one in half I before I break you, you in half. Big group over. You can cook all 90 at once, put them on a beautiful mm -hmm. platter like that. And then you or, have or really here, dribble some guests. sauce. We there you go. Dribble some tonight. sauce mm -hmm. on that and shit. Each took two shrimp, so already eight of them are gone. That's what right. I'm saying. Right. They're so talking about crowd, Japanese shrimp, shrimp, and yet they're based out of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. I also like using them as a base in some of my favorite. Yeah, you know, come on, just come on. Give me a little spoonful. Give me eleven spoonful of your cocktail sauce, whatever this garbage is. There you go. It's it's not necessarily a pour as it is a scoop, but it is dramatic. Family, and uh, yeah, I'm comfortable. And all I do, I'm again, comfortable marking this oven, off. We got to get started, right? Fryer, we can't just sit here forever sauce. without anything. And then you just layer it like you would traditional all chicken right. parmesan. We got something. So you're gonna put the cheese. Mark it zero. Layer that with cheese. This isn't Vietnam, Smokey. There are rules. A high heat. All we're gonna do is just get our cheese nice and bubbly, and our marinara wow. sauce. Wow, smother it in hot. cheese. You know Fantastic. Enjoy your next bowel movement. What the hell else is going on? PJC beauty before and, and after. Okay, hold on. 20. Oh God, the Beekmans are back. Get me out of here. Over the line, Smokey. You brought a Pomeranian? Yeah. I didn't bring it shopping, okay, dude? I didn't buy it shoes. Oh my God. <laughs> Who is this? Gilbert Gottfried? Oh, my God. I needed to get checked out. I needed to see a chiropractor. Can you believe it? Look at me. All right. I don't. What are we even supposed to see that's better or worse? I mean, you know, pick your poison, I'd say. 
I mean, five weeks. Oh God! Using it ten minutes every other day. Oh, here's Quite more. Frankly, I'd use it. What in God's name? What is going? What are you trying to do? Take freckles off? I don't see what else is happening here. Yeah, these look like <laughs> these look like crime scene photos. Like this may not be safe for YouTube, as if everything else I'm doing isn't already just making the algorithm avoid me like I have leprosy. So for twenty minutes a day, I'd use it for half an hour a day. Look at this lady here, Caroline. Yeah. She she'd had a baby. She had the master pregnancy. <laughs> Look at her face on the right. Look at her Fresh face. Her more lifted, more contoured. Slim her up. nose appears slim. I'll say this: she looks happier before. She looks slightly less happy after. Shouldn't you be happier after? Her lips appear fuller. Do you know why? Because they are slimmed and they are fuller. This is not about appearance. This is about actually what's happened to her skin. Contoured. We You're kidding, Paul. Oh, my God. Well, half your problem is your awful makeup, lady. Who is this? Corolla DeVille? What the fuck? Textured. This lady here. Her skin has been purified, lifted. You're kidding me. Florida, what? How is le leprosy? I can't even, I can't even, I'll figure it out. I can't spell. I suck. Are you effing kidding me? What's next? Our uh, freaking, uh, what, is, what is it? Uh, what's, what's the uh, thing in the Bible? What, 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 what insect? Swarm? Swarm of something raining frogs, I guess. I don't know. Like, what's the next like ridiculous like sign of the apocalypse? What's the next one? And and it's all coming out of Florida. Florida is like, do you remember that eighties movie, The Gate? That eighties movie with the kids. You guys remember this movie? Or basically in their backyard, there's just a giant portal to hell. That's what Central Florida is for the entire world. It's all coming out of Florida. Whatever whatever evil, whatever is making human beings just lose their fucking mind is coming out of Florida. I'm sorry if you're a Floridian. It's nothing against you. Mass hysteria, cats and dogs living together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, plus it's also like Belushi's uh, excuses to Carrie Fisher when... He's trying to get out of her killing him in the little tunnel there on their way to go pay off the uh, orphanage. Where she's like, I couldn't make it on time. My suit was dirty. There was a flood. Locusts. Ah, I'm sorry. My car ran out of gas. <laughs> yeah, <that's> <laughs> God damn, I love John Belushi, man. What, what are you going to do? What you know, I, you know what else I didn't even realize that Sinead O'Connor passed away like four or five days ago? Like that happened over the weekend or something? I didn't even see that news until yesterday. I'm, I'm absolutely crushed. That's the second Irish voice of an angel that we've lost like in the last four years on top of uh, Dolores Aroden. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. We need to get back into the... I know, I know. Maybe I'm... I know. T tear up some Pope photos. I would. Why not? I mean, that's the biggest thing, man. She had the balls to do what no one else was had the balls to do, and it ruined her career. And now you see people in all of their, you know, responses to her passing and social media talking about, and I'm talking about celebrities now, and people that had a chance to align with her and speaking out about the things she spoke out about but they didn't at the time oh but now that she's gone oh wow she really made an impact well where were you then and where have you been you know uh, that's a that's a little uh lathering yeah whatever spackling i don't know this is disgusting look at this goat jizz oh yeah he is lathering look at him why why are you giving me that look dude don't look at me like that while you're lathering I'm very happy to have this on mute. Let's just get out of here before something weird happens. Uh, Chris Christ yeah, and Chris Christopherson would would you know?
have balls. Chris Christopherson. Chris Christopherson has always had balls. Like, so that doesn't surprise me. Okay, jewelry. That's not good. One of the channels is basically out of play because they're selling jewelry. Okay, here we go. Color choices. What's he got on his hand? What is that? Six three six three. This looks like this th the new thing the baseball players wear when they're on base and they so when they steal a bag and put their hand in it protects it a little bit. Goes away at the end of the. Oh my God! Where's her arm? Um, Holy we shit! The two color choices we. Have I mean, it's it's fine. Look, I'm it's okay. An amputee is not. I'm not gonna sit here and make fun of that, but I'm. I didn't know they had an amputee model, and I was thrown off. Have the kind of texture. Wow. The kind of nubby. That is rather uh, progressive. Almost like a slub or tough texture to them, which is really just beautiful. Because, you know, in general, it's almost like a solid. Rock it. Um, rock it. But until you Go get ahead. Close and then you see Look, I mean, it's not going to take away from the fact that. With a solid pair of pads. As with a you think, Mr. Like Shrug? So <laughs> I'll really guarantee she's new. I think we would have made a mention line, about we're see it on chain too. Uh, this lady b b by now. High, um, uh, it doesn't make beautiful. this sweater look any less now, frumpy I, I and awful, though. i got to be honest. With, so I apologize, everybody. I'm trying to get it situated so it doesn't... I will say, though, it's... it's like, are they using the amputee just to show how you can roll up half a sleeve and... Is this sort of the new half tuck? The half one sleeve, half up, one knot? I mean, it's got this relaxed, easy look. To, I love it. I yeah, love this. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not too, like, chunky and too beefy. Cause it is chunky. Has, it is you know, beefy. It's the most sturdy. formless looking me sweater look I've ever right. seen. I want something that's going to be, you know, flattering. It has to drape. So to get it has, that look, It has the, the form of a burlap chunky, sack. It's actually a relatively lighter... Yeah, whatever. Keep lying. All right, whatever. Color choices. Are they going to stretch these things? Do you stretch sweaters? Maybe you don't want to bend them out of shape. Easy pays expire at the end of the day. A six three six. Let's see. Is he tugging? Oh, eight, well, look at him. Look at him go. Right oh, he's he's oh he's rubbing. He's so we have natural or it's close. the sea foam that Pam and I are wearing. Close enough um, where I can't go anywhere. Of placing your order for that. Your petite, by the way, is proportioned to be approximately an inch and a half shorter across the board. Is that an inch and a half? Yeah. Did mm -hmm. she stretch on herself? I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and buy it. Cool. Awesome. Love it. I'm not even going to bother uh, so running it back on the uh, YouTube know, channel. Right? Love it. I mean, when you know, when the fall flows... DDH, you have built like enough it. trust My favorite season. with the channel um, where yeah, if you so make a claim like that, I believe it. Sight unseen. At least most of the time. I don't know. Maybe when Marsha gets back, it'll change. <laughs> she kind of she kind of keeps me in line. Uh, all right. So we'll, we'll mark stretching. Yeah, see, I got are we not on the same page, guys? We're on the we're, we're on the same page. We're on the same page. We're, we're, we're all Ken's here. We're all Ken's. Gifted. Made so beautiful. Seriously, she looks beautiful because you took this awful makeup off that's 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 all it took all without injections scalpel downtime soreness redness i love this one this lady here is possibly my favorite mm. yeah now look at the schnoz on this one i know this one really resonates with you and i on the left forgive me she looks like an older lady yeah on the forgive him like like you're being sensitive about it all Give well, me she break. doesn't i mean she looks there's a generational shift in her skin. And you a imagine generational her, you know, shift. Her and wearing something lovely and a beautiful necklace. And not knowing how old she was. Could she be 40, potentially? How Could she be 40? Level she's of transformation by gliding a she's, wand. She's yeah, so, so dewy. dewy and fresh. Yeah. This one's different as well because this lady's got a lot of pictures. Why do they have to cram their faces like in this? I mean, is this like taking... Like looking up, like through one of those like chiropractor tables, or like this. Did they have to? Why can't they just show us after the procedure or whatever? Like just standing there. It's I don't know. Hasn't she? She has, and it's just. What, what am I marking? Pull says mark it. Did something happen? We already marked before and after, didn't we? Oh, we didn't. I'm sorry. I'm totally sorry. Okay. Hey, look at this diagonal we're working on. 
Hey, vague health benefits gets us nearly home. Okay, let's head on over to Shop HQ. Shit. I see a bingo line forming here. Speaking of lines, there was a conga line of ants this morning. I finally found, like, a cluster of them. Oh, shit, there's Invicta, but it's not helping. It's not helping tonight. What's on the bulldog? Jewelry? God damn, this could... Rose with brown More, You have watches on I two channels? The is are they both the Invicta? Same. If not, it's why it's are you having competition between yourself? This is a big no-no in home shopping. If you've got a network with more than one channel, you don't sell the same item from competing brands at the same time. This is a Chase Durr. Uh, well, Roseanne, clearly, what, what about... I don't get why they do that. You don't do that. And then... And oh, then okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Come on, I'm going to run it back a little bit. Medic Therapeutics, baby. Vague health benefits are... Oh, my God. Look at the display. Look. Have you seen anything cheaper than this? When's the last time you've seen something this cheap and plastic and uh, uh, wow just zero somebody made this like like a five-year-old put this together in some country not far from mine for like half a cent so start this, your day this drives me crazy 20 minutes let's just say you start at 20 minutes no if if you're just a beginner start at 10 minutes. yeah the, the handheld games you're right tdh those awful tiger handheld games where there was like a three piece an animation. Like if you're playing Street Fighter, you would just have like the pose and then just like the kick and then back to the pose and back to the kick. God, those games are all I don't man. As much as I love video games, I could not deal with one of those games for more than 15 seconds. It's just it's hot garbage. Yeah, or start at five minutes. Do ten minutes in the morning, ten minutes at night. There you go. Or five minutes in the morning, five. Just start, and then. No, you need you need five minutes just to get your heart rate up. Five minutes is, look, even the dude in fucking something about Mary was talking about seven minute abs. You know. No, not six, seven. You need to get your heart rate up. Uh, you barely get it up by six. Seven. Ten. Seven Ten. minute abs. Bump it up to seven minutes. The next week, bump it up to eight minutes. And like Daisy says, eight minute abs. You can do it at night. It's so, I don't know if it's because you're slight. By the way, I'm on the 49 year abs plan. So I got three years to go. Hiding on this chair, but it almost feel, it feels fun. <laughs> No, it is. It's and fun. I, All right. If these handles like, like snap out of your hand, that could maim you. Is that on the board? We got any maiming? No? Okay. We'll just have to wait for the vague benefits. Did you mark? I haven't marked it yet because uh, we need. We actually need to see the benefit. We actually need to you know, hear or see away. something. It, it, to the claims. We need the claims. The vague claims. I to a fitness club and I, I well, do how work much out. is your membership? Um, oh, wait a minute. They may be relaying a BS story here. They're talking about going to the gym. Hold on. We might get a BS story out of this as well. So let's, let's, uh, we got to look out for a couple of things. Too. You know, I think <laughs> rowing is, it, it, it's, it's interesting because, so I belong to a fitness club and I, well, I do work out. How much is your membership? Um, it's $400 a month for oh, our family. For $400 That's a month a to go to the, man. I'm so happy I left America. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What kind of world are we living in where we can't have universal health care like every other freaking country does? But uh, if you want to try to stay in shape, you, you got to spend $400 a month to go to a gym. Like everything is so back ass words in America. It drives me nuts. You pump us full of this preservative, awful Monsanto food. Everybody's a lard ass unless you got tons of money or just blessed with genetics. Then you can hire a fucking personal trainer and your own chef to give you really delicious meals and time all of your workouts. 
so you can look like frickin' Ryan Gosling. Uh, otherwise, you're, you're stuck looking like a lard ass, and you got, like, heart issues by the time you're 40. Like, those are your choices in America. They, there's no balance. You got to pay out the ass to be fit, or if you're just getting by, you basically have to get lucky to not turn in, into a big fat ass, which I don't know if you've been to a Walmart lately, but it seems to kind of be, uh, you know, an ever-present thing. And look, I'm, again, I'm, I'm overweight. I'm not sitting here calling anybody out. I grew up on this crap. I grew up eating frozen crap, fucking hot pockets and shit, you know? And you're going to spend less than that on this. That. <laughs> wow. So it's, it's, it's so funny to me because... You're six foot, 135. Well, I'm six, two and a half and an extra 100 pounds, maybe 110 pounds. I feel like rowing is. I guess that extra couple inches, I, I just, it must just be uh, my 200 pound feet. I don't know. So <laughs> underrated. And, you know, you look at a gym. And I'm a large guy. It's impossible. For, like the only way if I were to like to get in shape, if I were to like get cut, I would look like a fucking idiotic bodybuilder guy that I don't want to look like because I genetically I've got like a big barrel chest. You know, when I was younger and, and playing sports in high school and stuff, you know, I was just I was an I was like the boog pal of my baseball team. Just a big dude who didn't necessarily work out or anything, but was young enough and whatever to get away with it but yeah I, I can't be skinny and if i was sculpted i would look like like some kind of awful action figure i i, I, I don't even like the look see, honestly the of a sculpted body like that you see all the ellipticals and then there's like four sad little rowers i'm right? just trying to keep my man <laughs> boobs from I do get, if I am in from a falling space, any farther so down my stomach rowing as a great way to warm that's up. all i'm trying to but do I do this class called Alpha Conditioning. No, you don't. Okay, here's here's the here's the BS story. Yeah, dad bod should be in. Everything is, you know what? I'm a trendsetter without even trying. Everything just seems to eventually become what I've what I've already been. If that makes any sense. Okay, so um what were we saying about this? Oh, we got a BS story. That's what it was. Oh my god. The BS, now we just need the benefits. Oh, wow. This could be quick. And it's strength training. This could be, cardio. I better hurry up and, and roll a joint. Roll every time we roll. I don't know what we're going to do for uh, the second hour. Muscles in such a different way than a treadmill or a stair stepper or an elliptical. Thank or you, a DDH. Because you are Plus, I'm in Thailand, so and you know, much of Buddha is ever body. present. So and if you ever checked out it. Buddha's body, Buddha seemed to be doing okay for himself. For if you are wanting to and uh, that core, I, I've got Buddha's body, you know. If you are somebody who is, has a fear of falling because your stability and your balance has become I honestly blame my aged, that addiction to dairy products. That's got to be why I got man boobs. Mm -hmm. That is your balance maker. So if you can find a piece of equipment where you're sitting, all right, guys, do me a favor. My head's going to be office, looking downward here for a minute. Something that is actually engaging your core here, here we go. Here we go. May help improve posture. Perfect. It may help. Well, we don't know. We're, we're certainly not going to claim that it helps. It, it might. It may. It could. Theoretically, it could, you know, it may. <laughs> These products, man. I love it. I absolutely love it. That was the easiest bingo ever. I'm trying not to scream because it's not even 10 a.m. here yet. Usually we get bingo after the 10 a.m. hour, and I'm going to try to be a little kind to my neighbors here. But yes, wow, look at that. It was almost, God, imagine if we didn't have these. If it was just, what would you call a bingo where the only squares that got marked off made the bingo? Like, is that, what do you call that? Like a perfect game or something? Or I understand blackout bingo, but there's got to be a name for that where you just... The first five squares and boom. There's got to be a name for that, right? If there isn't, we got to invent one. Just perfect bingo? Okay. Well, we nearly rolled a, a perfecto there. 
That was uh, that was something else. Hey, all right. Well, you know what? Uh, to celebrate, I think everyone in chat uh, deserves a reward. You guys deserve a reward. And Paul was here last night. Paul was kind enough to understand that this reward I'm talking about. I wanted to wait till we had a couple more people in here. That's right. I'm talking about our old friend Sean who came back this week with yet another video. Take a good look at him. There he is. All right. Now we're going to play everybody's favorite game. When will Sean stop talking and actually show a product that means something? Are you familiar with this, DDH, uh, Mr. Shrug? This guy does a weekly stream for a couple of hours where he... I don't know if he even attempts to sell anything. It's, it's almost like it's just a show and tell. It's weird. And I am counting on uh, Poole to... Uh, you know, I, 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 Scout's Honor, did not, since yesterday, look to see when this magical moment will happen. So no cheating involved, but uh, Poole, Mr. Shrug, do you guys have a guess as to at what time... Oh, Shrug, you might not be used to this game. See, the whole point of this is that he takes forever to get to something. But hey, we had a relatively early one not long ago, so you never know. All right, by the way, would you look at that? You know how much, you know how much weed this is? You know how much this would be in the States? This, I got this delivered to me in the mail. And they even threw in like a super duper fat kind bud in there too just like as a hey there you go uh yeah that's enough to last me about three weeks <laughs> uh but yeah it's probably about 25 percent of the price of back home i don't know okay so we have our times in he looks urgent in that screenshot yeah there the thing about sean is is he Again, he's has this boundless energy as soon as the camera rolls, but then that energy goes away in record time. Like 10 seconds, maybe 15. Okay, uh, so Shrug says 942, DDH 17. Pool, where are you? 47 minutes. Okay, I see it now. The lack of seconds threw me off. I didn't see it. I've got bad vision. Okay, so all right, I'm going to... Use the advantage of guessing last, and I'm just going to say 32 minutes. 32. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to start scrubbing, and we're going to see when... Oh, oh, my God. Wait, that was a flash to something. Wait, does this count? I don't know if we can count this, because it has, you know, it's supposed to be the display shot of some gym, like, on the table, close up, with his little tweezers and shit. Over to those items real quick. This is just a cutaway to something. All right, look at this. Boy, those guys are on the ball. All right, so this was the question. What the fuck? Is that a um, tree knot? <laughs> well, actually, I better get it. I don't know what this is. I'm not, this can't be counted. This can't be counted. Yeah, I, we need to, you know the shot I'm talking about where like he's handling it under like a uh, under a little like light thing. You know the shot. We've done this enough. All right, I'm still going. You see, and plus he's gone now like 20 minutes after. Okay, and now he's back to that again. All right, but now he's now he's got his hands involved. I don't know how to count this. And the time passed. Um was Sean. the year anniversary of my father's passing and of uh, uh oh god sean i'm not gonna sit here and joke about something like that but do you really have to bring it up and i mean i feel kind of embarrassed for kind of losing my shit over paul rubens reading my own like eulogy for the guy yesterday oh my god i don't know what to do this isn't his typical show. He's going through all this stuff here over here on this little display thing. All right, what's this? This is usually what it's like, like a white table. Oh, this isn't. No, he's just holding. What are you doing? Oh, my. Do you remember me? This, I sold him this. I know this. I sold this. 
and <laughs> these are stunning polished on i don't know what to do honest okay see this to me this right here this item and let's see they've got like the graphic up for it this should count as the first item honestly right here right on 45 something yeah right there this is Look it. Bam. At that. that's it 45 43 okay where are we at i said 32 did somebody bid over that 47 from oh pool nailed it Pull, oh, great guess, man. Well, I'm not even gonna say a guess. You just, you just, you just felt it. The instincts, good instincts. Wow. Are these, are these pearls? What are we looking at here? Yes. All right. I mean, it's better than a basket of eggs. These are the. It's better than a basket of. When did you turn into foghorn leghorn? Hey, is Lauren on tonight? Oh, no. All right, well, let's check in with the spinning wheel of garbage. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. These are, I'm telling you, these are half. We've got the wheel. Here's the the wheel of garbage. Everything's tacky. Everything's gaudy. Big look. Yeah. Big look on the finger. Michelle, and take note. This is a manicure. Forty-four ninety-five. Forty-four ninety-five on that one. Nice thick band of gold on this as well. Stairway. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we're we're done with bingo. Can we look at some stairway to start him tonight? Because right, there a couple of the videos have been popping up at my recommends, and I'm like, God, I want to watch this, but I'd rather save it for the stream. Well, this is There's nice. some great acts coming out of Stairway to Stardom. Diamonds in your bracelet. So you got the rubies, a carat and a half of ruby. Oh, DDH is down. Okay. Pull, pull. What are your thoughts on Stairway to Stardom? There. You digging it? All the way around. Like, there was some puppet show old. one that popped up that looked so cringe. I just... And I all right, sweet. One for all right, all right. Well, let's make one more stop. Since we are the kin show tonight, let's go on over to Pearl TV and look at some hot broads. Hot German broads. Zum's Paket, alles in dieser Sendung mit dabei. Unsere beliebtesten Solarkonverter haben wir Ihnen hier mitgebracht. Und wir haben auch einiges mehr mitgebracht, beziehungsweise Ingo hat einiges mehr mitgebracht. Ja, du siehst das hier schon. Wir werden das mit nachher. abstellen. <lacht> you can tell she in her contract has like a 10 foot no. Like this guy's not allowed within 10 feet of her. Is basically what I'm trying to say. Ja, ja. Ja. Alles ich bin gespannt. Sie können. <lacht> Alles Mögliche mit Solarstrom betreiben. Ganz, ganz einfach. Sie kriegen Has this guy changed out of that blue shirt and jeans this entire time we've been checking out this channel? Just imagine how disgusting those jeans are. Did they ever get washed? <laughs> and the solar panel. Das Solarpanel wird einfach vorne reingesteckt. They und really got to get some variety Strom here. Gespeichert, der Ihnen dann zur Verfügung steht. Das ist das Grundprinzip all unserer Anlagen. Das hier ist die vielleicht kleinste. I mean, they, they've clearly put their money into the production value of the set. I mean, their set looks like, you know, like a spacecraft from Starship Troopers or something compared to the sets for most of these other channels. But then it's like, dude, I don't know, save 20 bucks, buy another pair of jeans. I don't know. Excuse me, Euros. In combination with this solar panel. But niedlich is the Ausbeute gar nicht, ne? No, gar nicht. Guck mal, das passt hinter meine Moderationskarte. So klein ist das. What the hell? Das kann man auch mal mit ins Café nehmen, egal wohin. Sie haben jetzt immer Strom dabei. She's even like gripping this, like she's... I don't know. She's very conscious about this guy. Yeah, let's go back. I like it when they're, when they're in the chairs. I don't know why. Maybe you can figure it out. Oh, they're playing Jenga. Uh -huh. Boah, der Ralf, ne? 
I would never play Jenga versus German. I feel like I get my ass kicked. It's like, this is right up their alley, isn't it? So, Ingo lässt jetzt zusammen krachen. Even though it is in my blood, I guess I should have it in me. I don't know. He's shaking the table. Why is she on the floor? All right, technically he is too, but still. <laughs> hey, Taylor. I'm dumb. I've been commenting on the Reddit thread you advertised on and just now realized that live stream actually means live stream. <laughs> Maybe I haven't been... I don't know. Let me go back to... Because uh, I swear, I mean, how many months was I daily putting this stream up? I know a few people came over from Reddit, but for the most part, it just seems like, how did this get four comments already? My, these never get comments. Oh, we're still on Beekman. I feel like I changed the channel an hour ago because they wouldn't stop fingering the tub of lotion. <laughs> these face wipes may have a cup of water uh, in them if you squeeze them out slowly onto a bare table but this model put on eyebrows of steel today good job on the camera crew for cutting away when nothing came off after three scrubs bumble and bumble shampoo and conditioner you know you've got a winner all right so basically people are kind of oh so this is you this is all one person you're you're this oh okay taylor i'm looking over now at you saying that it's you uh, yeah yeah you're in the right place now <laughs> nobody's it's all happening here. Okay, great. Th uh, welcome. Uh, we're about to actually uh, deviate away from our home shopping uh, stuff, and we're going to watch some talent show, local access talent show crap from the early 80s. What is all this noise? Are they selling this? I have not heard that much paper fumbling since Trump was bragging to three chicks in his office about plans to attack Iraq. Das ist der hier. Für so ein tolles Spiel hier. Yeah, right in here somewhere. Let me show you. I've got it right here in the stack. Hold on, I got a ruffle, a few more papers here. Put that right there. There you go. Wow, that's a big. Wow, what is this? The Jenga Olympics? Why is everybody lit except for their faces? Does nobody want anyone to know that they showed up in the audience? What kind of audience would show up for something like this? What kind of husband? Like, is it a wife bringing the husband because? Of the shopping angle, or is it the husband bringing the wife because of the absolute misogyny angle? I can't figure it so. out. Also, richtig interessant, hat Spaß gemacht. Und Sie haben gesehen, wer nicht. All right, that's the, uh, yeah, again, that's the button that says, uh, hot young girl, please present yourself to me button. It's. Like, honestly, if if you want to make a point about the patriarchy, forget the Barbie movie. Play Pearl TV in the theater for a couple of hours. Then then you'll have something to really think about. You know? Then you're really questioning what, how the hell we've been doing what we've been doing here. You know, maybe things do need to change. This is less subtle than the Barbie. The, that's what drove me crazy about the Barbie movie. It wasn't the message. It was the complete lack of subtlety. Ah, oh, God. I, don't get me started again. All right, here we go. Uh, there's the bingo. Where are we going? I don't know. I got I to gotta finish rolling my joint. Do you guys mind? It's, we're right on the hour mark. <laughs> <laughs> My table is uh, wet from condensation. I'll be right with you in a minute, folks. Oh,
Ding, ding. Deutlich zu hören. Also natürlich für einen Timer, für äh, Backwaren, für, für ja. Kochen, aber auch ein Spieltimer. Es gibt ja, ja viele natürlich. Spiele, die gehen auf Zeit. Und du sagst nur, was an, Uhren gibt Streit. <lacht> Cut the blue Streit wire! No, no, the green so, wire, the green wire! Oh, oh God! Ich durfte noch zu Ende malen, zu Ende raten, zu Ende Pantomime, was auch immer. Ich glaube, mit unserem Holzstein kann man das auch machen, wenn man da so ein Limit setzt. Du hast nur zwei Minuten Zeit, sonst hast du verloren. Ja. Zwei Minuten ist aber lang. I think it's time also, for you to hit that button again. Dann sagen wir 20 Sekunden. 20 Sekunden, okay. 20 aber, Sekunden. Äh, für alle Poker, die hm. zu Hause mal Texas Hold'em spielen, da gibt es ja auch eine Blinduhr. Did I hear him say Texas Hold'em in there? Da muss nicht irgendjemand wie das Handy auspacken. Also auch für solche Spiele. Yeah. Aber natürlich, um Kuchen zu backen. Super Man, gut zu lesen oh, I'm auch. Ne? Yeah. I'm struggling with this one. It's so going to take me 20 minutes finishing rolling this, because I just bis, fucked it up. Wenn du die Einstellung hast, die Zeit, die du brauchst, und da geht auch gleich das Licht an, wir sehen, Oh, I messed this up big time. Now I'm going to have to somehow cram another like... No, this is too loose. What, am, what have I done? Der Countdown läuft. Und das ist mehr farbig, das Display hier. Ja. Magnetisch, viel besser als die, es gibt ja diese, diese Küchenuhren oder Eiuhren, sagt man ja auch, die, die man so dreht, wo dann so eine Feder langsam rückwärts geht. Oh. Das ist God damn it, I've been so doing genau. this since Lollapalooza 92. I should mein know what I'm doing. <lacht> Super. Habt ihr gleichzeitig <lacht> eingestellt. Also ich finde sowas klasse für 5 Euro. <lacht> Kann man ja gar nichts the problem is, it's these so super big Kinder. papers. It's weird around here. The papers you have to choose from to buy in the shops are either like this small or that long. Like they don't have like the one in the middle that I'm used to. Right, I just need wenn es um Spielen geht. Ich bin sehr ehrgeizig. Ja, aber das ist ein Mess. Aber ich mogel nicht. Das ist ein Mess. Ah, hier ist es. Gut Lord. Aber ich mogel nicht. Ja, ich weiß nicht, was der Appeal ist dieses Kanals. Ich kann es nicht verstehen. Ja, Holmes, ich habe die Cheech Chong Papers. Oh mein Gott. Da ist noch eine frühe 80s Memory. Ich grew up on that. That one album, my mom had that album, uh, that, like, class, class. Shut up! Thank you. What was that album? I don't know. I listened to it a million times, though. Uh, right. We're going to, by the way, uh, who's uh, the, the new uh, chap? Taylor? Taylor, here's a look at our bingo card from tonight. Sister Mary Elephant, oh my God. Okay, I, I was thinking Sister Golden Hair Surprise. I don't know what I was thinking. But yes, another memory that comes flooding back. Holy Toledo. Yeah, this, wow, this is going to be like Snoop Dogg would be proud of this J if, I, if I'd ever finish it because I'm going to have to put like <laughs> a lot of more weed in this thing. Jesus, okay. Um. All right, let's 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 get on over to Stairway to Stardom. I'll just start playing something silly. Stairway to Stardom, where you'll find folks with no talent. Stairway to Stardom. If you thought Star Search was bad, just wait. And we need a show opening. All right, let's start with the opening to the show. Get us going here. Stay Brighten up my day. We've got singers and dancers and actors performing for you. We've got delusional Long Island people performing for you. <laughs> We've got belly dancers who don't show their belly. Stairway to stardom. I like this alone guy. 
<laughs> this guy. That is, I, I've said it already, but that, rest in peace, my father. My, my God, this is what my dad looked like in 1982. And this is what he would look like after he'd get drunk, which was every day, starting at 5 p.m. This would be him around 8.30. Uh, sweaty. Uh, singing, uh, usually an Eagle song. Hotel California was his go-to. Uh, yeah, wearing like a leisure suit. Oh, memories. Stairway to stardom. Look at all these stars. Is that Chris Elliott on drums? What the fuck? On the stairway to stardom. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking discount Eugene Levy over here. Hold on. Check out this guy. On the stairway to stardom. Oh my. Okay. Okay. So that's the intro. In case you forgot. Uh, we've already looked at, as you can see, some of these videos already. I'm going to have to dig down deep. We got some dancing here. We got some singing. I'm really into some of the more macabre, uh, you know, some of the, let's see. Oh, this is that boiled chicken one. Oh, here's the guy who had the, the herpes sore. <laughs> if you remember the herpes sore. Uh, children dancing? No, I'm not going to do that. That's too creepy. Okay, why are we getting into, like, Asian uh, soap operas here? What's happening? There's way more clips. I know there are. I've seen them. I've seen them all over. Okay, every full original episode. Okay, maybe I should just go to this playlist. Maybe this is the idea. All right, she was in the intro. Okay, now her videos popped up twice. What's going on? Wait, what is this? Something's rotten in Transylvania, and there's two women are wearing like a an attached like Siamese cloak. What the? F what am I looking at here? And look at the, what's going on here. Okay, this is where we need to be. This is okay. We're in the area. We're in the right area. Let's start with this. Come to the cabaret, Jimmy. Oh God! Here we go. Something's rotten in Transylvania. My baby doesn't bite me anymore. What? Something's rotten in Transylvania. Are they conjoined? He give me bang the way he did before. Last night it took an hour for him to resurrect. As we left, tell him to take a Viagra. To genuflect. I saw him toss his native soil into my laundry basket. I love hearing that Long Island accent come out during their singing. It's God, it's so. Then Perfect. take an ad in New York Mac to auction off his casket. Something's rotten in Transylvania. My baby doesn't bite me anymore. Something's rotten. Is this is this uh, an original? I can, this is this wasn't an actual song, right? Because this is awful. These lyrics are awful. In Transylvania, he doesn't give me bang the way he did before. They're off key. And it's like, I can't even say they're off key from whatever the original is because I've never heard this song, but they're, they're off key between each other. He signed a form to donate blood at NYU. He snarled at me, the servant. Yeah, they made this up. That's the second New York reference they've made. They're talking about a New York Dracula. Okay. Hemoglobin stoop. I told him he should see a shrink about his pink complexion and find out why the mirrors are reflecting his reflection. I swear to God, I thought they were going to rhyme erection in there. But they had the chance to. Something's rotten in Transylvania. My baby doesn't want a neck anymore. Something's rotten in Transylvania. He doesn't suck my blood the way he did before. He doesn't do what? In Transylvania. He doesn't suck my blood. Oh, okay. Blood the way he did before. Wow, the choreography. I tell myself again to get my old bat back instead of flying nightly. He this makes me think, like, if Abba 
I lo- but I love ABBA. All right, they're my guilty pleasure band, like of all time. I don't care what anybody says, even though it doesn't really align with most of my taste in music. They wrote ridiculously catchy pop songs, and you can't take that away from them. Okay, ABBA was a great band. Uh, good, uh, good groovy uh, music and uh, great uh, vocals. What are you gonna do? But uh, now I forgot my original point was. <laughs> oh yeah, wouldn't it have been cool if the two girls were conjoined in ABBA? That's all I wanted He's to say. He's daily running track. He's drinking milk with soybean protein, wolfing herbal mixes, and in the lining of his cape, he's stashing crucifixes. All right, props for finding something to rhyme with crucifixes. That's. He capped his teeth to camouflage his ghoulish grin. Can't fly without a Walkman. There's something wrong with him. I caught him in a tanning center checking out their prices. How can a dead immortal love be felt by midlife crisis? Something's rotten. We're supposed to be laughing. Or, uh, guys, are you laughing right now? I mean, the way they intended you to? Because what they wrote is really clever? Or are you just laughing at them? I don't know. But they they really must have thought this was clever. They must have really. <laughs> well, we are talking about vampires, DDH. I mean, you should be a little bit horrified. You know, it's scary stuff. In Transylvania, my baby doesn't bite me anymore. Something's rotten in Transylvania. He doesn't give me fang the way he did before. He doesn't want to be nocturnal. Did he say he doesn't give me fang? I mean, that's basically like saying he doesn't give me head. Anymore. He spends a bloody fortune at the health food store. What happened to the Dracula that I adore? He doesn't give me fang the way he did before. He give me give fang. Me the way he did. Oh my god, they're driving that line home. Before. Listen to how off key they are. Oh my god, this off key final note. Oh god. This is bad. Oh. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm wondering which one is Horowitz and which one is Spectre. She's, She's Spectre. Horowitz. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Great interview. Great interview. Get out of there quickly. Holy shit. All right. Uh. Did I mention how pissed I am that the Astro that Verlander went to the Astros? I'm still pissed off about it. Still pissed off. The Ast- the, the Mets are paying fifty six million dollars of the remaining Verlander salary. Like seventy five percent. Houston is going to have this guy for the rest of this season and next season for what to amounts to about, you know. $11 million a season for a Hall of Fame, top of the rotation, guy you want in a playoff pitcher. And what did they, not only did they give him $56 million, the Mets, the two prospects they got back in return, the Orioles have 10 prospects ranked higher than those two guys. You couldn't make a deal with us? It kills me. I know Verlander and or his wife simply don't like the city of Baltimore. There's no other explanation. Our current GM, Mike Elias, was Houston's GM five years ago when he brought Verlander in to that team and went to the uh, World Series. So you don't, you're telling me there's not a relationship there? You're telling me you're looking at the Orioles and saying, oh, that's a crappy franchise without a chance? We got the best record in the American League. We're playing great ball. We got a young, you're you're the perfect veteran to come in and be uh, an influence for all these young kids. It's a, I mean, if I'm a baseball player and I've had a career like Verlander, Baltimore would be the perfect place I'd want to go to try to help a team in a city that hasn't felt winning for 40 fucking years. And by the way, did I mention that he's from Richmond, Virginia, which yes, DC has a team, but looking at his age, that team didn't come in until he was like 17. So if he grew up loving baseball and he followed his local team, it was the Orioles. 
So what is it, Verlander? Why, why did you not even give it a... It, yeah, it's got to be the wife. Eh, I don't want to move to Baltimore. There's no place to shop. It's dangerous. Two months in Baltimore? No. No, Justin. No. I will not allow it. You, 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 you expect to get this? And then I have to be in Baltimore? Ugh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's get back to some stairway to stardom. I'm just, God, why didn't Verlander just give us a chance, man? I, I hope we get him. I hope we get in the playoffs. We get Houston at some point. Okay. And we beat the crap out of Verlander and make him sorry that he picked Houston. Hey, well, who's your next guest? Let's see. The Mellow The Mellow Nets. Oh, yeah, Where definitely. The Mellow Nets. The Mellow Nets. The Mellow Oh, I surprised them. They didn't know I that was That was my call. favorite movie theater snack. Oh, God. Wow. Wow. I don't know if I can get through all of this one. This is not an original, and wow, do they sound bad already. <laughs> Why do birds fall in love? Why do birds sing? So gay. Oh, wait. Remember, gay meant something different. Oh. You can't even hear them. Oh, God, the mix is awful. I'm saying the mix as if they did anything other than just point a camcorder at these people and shoot. Like, there's no, like, there's no, like, audio, like, what do you call it? Mix board? There, there's no board. Nobody's running a board. I'm bored, but... Yeah, they're on fleek. Who's this guy? <laughs> I know what a Prince of Leba ought to be. I know what a Prince of Leba ought to be. Said if you want to call me baby, I just go ahead now. And if you like to call me lady, just go ahead now. And if you want to buy me flowers. What is that? There's something on my microphone. Uh, yeah. Ah, there you don't have to feel too much for him. You know, it's best It's best at a at this age to just, you know, go ahead and have it explain to you that you don't got it. You don't you don't got it, Toots. You don't have the X factor. I'm sorry. You know, better better now than like in your like late 30s still trying, right? They got their whole lives ahead of them. They're okay. Why didn't you practice more? <laughs> I know what a Prince of Leba ought to be. I know what a Prince of Leba ought to be. I just realized Two Princes Two Princes is a ripoff of, of Why Do Fools Fall in Love It's the same damn song I'd never put it together until I Listened to this Like it fits right in doesn't it Alright I've had enough of these guys Thanks thanks guys Great. Oh wait let's Maybe they're having an interview Let's, let's get an interview We've only been together four weeks Four week beautiful. What do you wow. mean? Wow. I would have thought only two. Years, huh? Keep it up. Keep it up. Believe me, you're on your way. 
You're on your way. You're on your way. They're doing karaoke. They're not on their way. They just did a karaoke song. Like, there's no stairway. It's an escalator to obscurity. It's not a stairway to stardom, okay? Wait a minute. Raymond Lucky. Wait a minute. This guy's got... Look, look at how, Just look at the way he's... Look, look at how his posture is right here. Why is his belt cinched all nuts? All right. Something weird's happening in this video. Something weird's happening. Now, well, you got a singer and dancer now. Oh, yes. We yeah, sure have. He's good. Uh -huh. You got to see him. He okay. is good. All right. Let's welcome everybody. Let's welcome <laughs> the Raymond Shake Shack. Lucky. Oh, shit. We got a little funk. Bring that funk. Uh. Oh, shit. It's like a Super Bowl shuffle for one. What is that part in his hair? I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. Look at his moves. Why don't you put the microphone up to where your mouth is, man? Is he singing from his nipples? The only reason I watch this is because I'm waiting for one of these people who, you know, embarrassed themselves 40 years ago to give me a copyright strike. <laughs> hey, man, that's my protected music. You can't just use that. You're taking away from, uh, you're taking away from uh, my record sales and stuff, right? He's just singing over a track and lip syncing, yeah. There's not even a backup band or nothing. He's doing nothing. The things happening on the show is, are the sorts of things that a normal person would do, like, when they get out of the shower and, like, they're in front of their, like, mirror where their closet is and they're, like, looking for what to wear and the radio's on and maybe you're, like, kind of dancing around. Like, that's where you do... This isn't a talent. This is dancing around your bedroom, finding something to wear. This is what this is. <laughs> DDH, are you implying that he ever started to try? Oh, shit. We're getting a little Shaka Khan up in here now. Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. I feel for you, and I love you. All right, the joint is finally done. I told you it would take 20 minutes. Good Lord, 20 minute joint. But I am a tic I'm a meticulous guy. I just don't pop it in some cheesy metal pipe and smoke it like I'm on crack. I'm a fucking hippie, okay? I smoke joints. That's what I do. And now I'm ready. All right, what's the next video up for? All right, what's this guy doing? Oh, is he like? Is he wiping his brow like he's James Brown? Hold on. We got one of these guys. One of these like half evangelist half hold on oh this is a full show okay well we can we can skip the intro hi welcome to stairway to start hey I'm where this is, hey. i'm your host frank massey and this is my lovely co-host tilly how hi. you doing baby okay how are you how you doing baby are you going to do a number for us oh yes we have a fine show too i hope we have uh yeah, yeah. 
By the way, that's my favorite part about all this is that this guy, the host, who's clearly also the director slash producer slash creator slash everything for this show, he starts every show singing a number of his own because, you know, that's what you do, you know. It's, it's like a comic that's sort of the MC of a, like a comedy uh, festival. You know, you're already established. Everybody loves you, you but you give them a little something. You give them, you give them, you give them what they want. He gives you what, 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 yes, what. Uh-huh. Well, why want. don't you start well, start off with the song and then we'll get the All right, you, okay? okay, that's a cue. Uh, he said that's a cue. What can I say, dear, after I say I'm sorry? What can I do to prove it to you? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you could start by not singing. I didn't mean to ever be mean to you, 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 you. If I didn't care, I would feel like I do, 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 do. <laughs> Some words shouldn't be repeated for the sake of meter in lyrics. And one is do if you're going to sing do 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 even he knows his song is shit i was all wrong but right or wrong i don't blame you why would you? Why should I take somebody like you and shame you? I- this guy really has... A th- this guy's like the Andrew Tate of 1983. This guy's a, a Sigma male, man. This. G- I know that I've made you cry, and I'm so sorry. If you count his extended family, there are approximately 107 people, so... That's probably where all the likes are coming from. So what can I say, dear, after I say I'm sorry? What can I say after I say I'm sorry? How about check, please? You can say that. What can I do to prove it to you? I'm do sorry. Flop. <laughs> I didn't mean to ever be mean to you. you how, about, how about just doo doo wop? That's what you. I'm saying. If I didn't care, I wouldn't feel like I do 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 do. All right, I've had enough of him. What's the next act? I, I want like a puppet show. I want something special here. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, you, you can tell she's a. Did she just sniff? God, does anyone understand what the concept of stage presence is? Like, you don't have to overdo it, but God, you got to at least act like you know where you are and what, what the stakes are here. You're like, this is, this is your shot. Look at this. All right, I guess I'm ready. I don't know. Right, you got the tape queued up like I wanted? All right, let's do it. And, and then a sniff, a sniff right into a microphone. Imagine going to see, like, Adele in concert, and this is how she comes out. Sometimes I wonder... Wait. Oh, my God. There's already the real singer's voice on this track. They couldn't even get, like, a karaoke track. She's singing over the singer. Oh, God. What is happening? What is happening? Sometimes I wonder... Where I've been, who I am, do I fit in? Is this is this from the Barbie soundtrack? This sounds like everything Barbie's talking about. Make believing it's hard alone out here on the my danger zone. I own. We're always proving who... By the way, just, you know, as a tip, maybe go for something that doesn't look like Louis Anderson with a mullet for, for a haircut, you know? We are always reaching for that 
rising storm to guide me far and shine me home. Julie from Love Boat. Out here on my you know, she honestly reminds me of the worst Griswold kid in any of the vacation movies, which was uh, uh, what's the daughter's name in the movies? Anyway, from from European Vacation, that one. Remember, remember the, it's Ru Audrey. Yeah, Audrey from uh, European Vacation. I own. When I'm down, yes, she did. I forgot the circumstances, but she died extremely young. Like, less than five years after that movie, I want to say. Like early 20s. Nobody, nobody tunes into my stream with like wearing headphones, right? I hope. I, I apologize because I have to I have to hear that again. So I can be with God damn diabetes. Man, that really takes that one scene where she's like imagining landing in France or whatever and just sitting at a table being like forced. First of all, they stole that entire gag straight from Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. I mean, that should have been. And Eric Idle had a cameo in the movie. Like, was nobody around to go like, hey, this has been done already. Like, the exploding stomach from pounding too much food at the table. Like, this was done like two years ago. What are you doing? With you, oh baby, be strong for me. Baby, belong to me. Help me. <laughs> I'm sorry, DTH. Me through. Help me. All right, now I'm seeing some Chris Farley kind of sneak through, too. We need you until the morning sun appears, making light of all my fears. I can't. I can't. There isn't even like a. Is there a. There isn't even like a chorus to this. Oh, God, let's let's go for the interview. If she comes out talking like she's hot shit, I'm gonna. Really nice. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Hold on. Beautiful, you beautiful. Fifteen. Yeah. Uh huh. And you. Fifteen. This as a part of your career. Hopefully. Why did everybody back then look eighteen years older than their real age? She's fifteen. I thought this was like a mom. Well, I suppose that's technically possible, but, and it is Long Island. I don't know. I don't fucking know. See, with these extra long joints, they're just too damn long. They don't burn right. Yeah, I want to yes. succeed, yeah. Uh -huh. Do you have any plans for the future? Well, for me, my own group, but that's Nate. Is there any more of like a, God, what word do I want to use? I don't know. It's it's just in, it's in bad taste to, to ask that question. I mean, phrase it in any other way than, got any plans for the future? Like, gonna maybe do something with your life or uh, what's happening? Later. Uh -huh. I hear you're going to do something at uh, a restaurant or something. Yeah, it's my cousin's restaurant. I'm going to do something in Queens. I'm going to be like an open act for another act or something. She's going to be an opening act for her cousin's restaurant in Queens. <laughs> she can't even be the headliner. It's your cousin's restaurant. You got to be the opening act. The opening act at a restaurant in Queens. Your cousin's restaurant. <laughs> Where's this, uh, where's this located? It's in, um, somewhere in Jackson Heights. Uh-huh. Oh, maybe you can let us know. Maybe we can yeah, go well, down there ourselves, you know? Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll get the early bird special so we don't miss the opening act. Good luck in okay. the world, okay? And thank thanks, thanks for such a beautiful job, okay? okay? thank you. Uh, this poor child, and she's a child. Even though it looks like she'd kick my ass, she's 15 years old somehow. She's already trying to make a career... You know, this is around the same time Debbie Gibson was, like, 13 and writing songs out in Long Island. And let me just tell you, 
Can I just tell you the difference between pop music then versus now? Like, even though I would probably trash Debbie Gibson back in the day, the woman, or at the time, the child, she wrote her own music. Okay? You can't say that about, you know, Miley Cyrus or some shit, right? Like... There was a time when if you wanted to be discovered, you just played your music locally and one day somebody came in, the right person, fucking here's my card, we'll be in touch. You know, you, you had to you had to work it out. Now you just get like these kids who with their parents who like Disneyfy them from day one so that they can like you know, construct yeah, you know, the next big talent. I don't know how to... I don't know what I'm saying. Let's just drop to the floor. I don't know. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. She really got to pick her head up, though. Come on. Okay, the world, okay? and thank thanks you. for such a beautiful job. Okay, okay? thank you. Right. Okay. okay, thank you. I mean, the second she's walking away, eyes closed, looking down, shrugging. God, there's... I mean, she looks like she just lost the who wants to be a millionaire million dollar question. Bye bye. Uh, we have a, a gentleman here. That did a great time, great commentary. Stairway to start him. Well, well, Taylor, you got to come on back, man. Don't be a stranger. I, I'm kind of going through a, a dark phase for the channel where <laughs> people aren't showing up, and I wasn't exactly. Uh, putting up big numbers to begin with so yeah you've got friends over here my friend we're here to have some fun he's uh have a good one man he's uh rick james and and michael jackson and stevie wonder all rolled up into one is it uh, oh now that is a claim except i have a feeling the only thing this person might have of any of those three acts is stevie wonder's vision this is the one you're telling me about? Yeah, you yeah. You know, I haven't seen him. I know, but you're going you're gonna to be surprised. I know. You know our secretary? She told me you Y'all come him back him. now, huh? I want to see him, so let's uh, bring him up. Okay, uh, here he is. C.P. Lacey, everybody. <laughs> yeah, exactly, TDH. Yeah, do you think he gave away the race at all with the the comparisons? Hey, hey, hey. hey. Oh, my. Gee, I want... So the Rick James is just, I've got braids. I've got the exact same rick james hair that's the rick james part and maybe he treats his women like you know biatches and stuff thank you thank you ladies and gentlemen what a wonderful audience first of all before i do anything else i how annoying would these clickety clack ass things in your hair be every time you moved your head around it would drive me insane like, there's a million and one ways to stand out with some fashion statement. God, I would never pick one that would just be a nuisance. I just want to thank Frank for letting me be on the show. It's a wonderful show. I make sure I see it every Saturday, and you and you do the same thing, okay? All right, here. Now, see, God, d here's the... <laughs> that last lady had zero charisma, was just... Look terrified to be there. She's doing an opening act at her cousin's restaurant in Queens. Zippy stage presence. Then this guy comes out and he's just so overconfident. So, so too sure of himself. Can anyone find that middle ground, please? I'd like to do something that's uh, famous, like he said, from Rick James, first of all, okay? Don't let the... I can't believe he's going to sing a Rick James song with his Rick James hair. This is like a little child doing like cosplay like for, for, for a talent show. How are we supposed to take him seriously? Yeah, wake fool you. It's not my real hair. <laughs> okay. It, it, it wasn't Rick James's real hair either, dude. This hair is unachievable, to be honest. It's just a little like this. Did he just say it goes a little something like this? Like it's 
1898 vaudeville. Hey, don't let the uh, wig fool you. It's not my real hair. <laughs> okay? It goes a little like this. Stop me if you've heard this one before, okay? Rick James, let me get into character. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hold on. Let me relight this joint. This is... The last 20 minutes might be tough. <laughs> Who sang that song? We don't have to take our clothes off. Was that? I want to say it's the guy from like the Jets or something. Or who was it? Uh, who was? It wasn't though. It was some other one-hit wonder person. And all it kind of has a El Debarge. Jermaine Stewart. Oh God, uh, that sounds right. Okay. A little bit of that El Debarge sound, though, right? You know what I'm talking about? Kind of that high-pitched, kind of falsetto-y. Uh... <laughs> Wait a minute. What what happened with that edit? <laughs> I love it. Okay. He's like, let's go. And then it just smash cuts to something... Is he even wearing the same jack? Okay, he's got this. Okay. What are you about to do, dude? Oh, my. You can hear the beads. You can hear. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, I'll stop. I know I'm, I'm, I'm stopping too much. He's, the, you can hear the beads before he sings. It's too okay. much. I got to blow my nose. Sorry. I wish the Stone City Band were here, but I think I can pull this thing off by myself. Wait a minute here. Yeah, I feel all right now. When I came home last night, <laughs> you wouldn't make love to me. I wonder why. You feel fast asleep. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I know that I can be uh, accused and rightfully accused of stating the obvious once in a while. But can I just point out to this man, sir? It's probably best to write a song where you're not snoring in the song. Where we're not hearing you go <laughs> into a microphone. It doesn't really help with like the beat. Like if I'm out on the dance floor... And the song goes, uh, sorry, I'm, I've kind of lost my, my mojo. I'm like, <laughs> this guy. You feel fast asleep. You wouldn't even talk to me. You said, I'm so crazy. You said, I'm so crazy, girl. Coming home intoxicated. You see, I just want to love you. I just want to love you, baby. That is why I'm so elated. Come on, now, Give it to me, baby. Give it up, girl. Don't you want to be mine tonight? Come on. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> give it up, girl. I can make you feel all right. I don't even need consent. Come on and give it to me, baby. Give it up, girl. Give it to me, baby. Give it to me. Give me that stuff, that funk, that sweet, that funky stuff. Woo. What is that edit again? <laughs> this is all over the place. <laughs> Can we just look at the flip book every five seconds of this guy? I love I love C. P. Lacey. Somebody look this guy up. I need to buy his I need to buy his whole fucking library. There's an ant on the microphone. There you go, folks. Ant on the microphone. I am speaking into. We have reached that level. Ant on the microphone. A Thailand fire ant is was just crawling half an inch from my lips. I'm not happy. Give it to me. Give me that stuff, that funk, that sweet, that funky stuff. 
Woo. I love the Frank Massey show. All right. Yo. They're the only show that'll let me on. Great audience. You know, everywhere I go, people... And when I mean everywhere, I'm talking Staten Island, the Bronx, parts of Yonkers. People always say, well, do you do my favorite... Uh, artists and I say, well, who's your favorite? And they say, Stevie Wonder. No problem. I can give you Stevie Wonder in a matter of, uh, uh, let's see, zero seconds. Oh, no. I don't know if I can do this. This is, this is going to be... Look, you can make fun of Rick James all you want, all right? I mean, Dave Chappelle certainly made that like a... An, a yeah, no contest. <laughs> Dave Chappelle made it to where... Making fun, like, Rick James is the easiest person to make fun of. You don't do an impression of the, bl look, I know Eddie Mur Murphy did it in his act, you know, I know he did the whole, like, yeah, but d don't, sir, don't, don't do this, don't, don't do this, don't do this. Oh, God, he did it, he did it, he did it. He did it. His Instagram? What are you saying? This man is active? This man is currently active in 2023? 40 years later? DDH, you got to give me the deets. I need the deets. <laughs> Oh, that's true. That's true. Stevie Wonder technically never has to ever see this garbage. Good for him. There's an upside to all to all that. <laughs> and 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 the instant laughter. By the way, the biggest eruption of laughter I've ever heard on this show. And I mean, when they have comedians on, they don't laugh like this. Around, let's see, zero seconds. <laughs> <laughs> blindness I just want to say thank you to all of you for showing up here tonight and see see Placey show oh CP Lacey right that's his name CP oh wait all right hold on I got it I got it holy shit this guy's still going man you gotta I mean I there I I, I did it again I did it again. Twitter's already open, but I can't. I just because of your stupid rebranding, my brain is still not able to process that I have the X tab open, which is what Twitter is, which is what I'm still calling it, by the way, Twitter, because it's freaking Twitter. You idiot. You absolute idiot. X is cool. What did this idiot name his kid? What, like some goddamn Pythagorean theorem of a name? The f yeah, th this goddamn thing. Hey, hey, hey have, you, have you seen my kid? Uh, uh, X, A, B over C squared minus 4 A, B or whatever the fuck this is. What a dope. What what do you think? Do you really think your kid's going to grow up and appreciate this as a name? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. The CP Lacey show. Hold on. Let me take a look. Yeah. Imagine this. Yeah. Yeah, what would you do with this? Okay, if I'm a if I'm a mean ten year old kid, and and I, I I would occasionally be that kid. How would I mix fun of? Well, first of all, I need to hear how it's pronounced. How the hell is it pronounced? What is? Did they give you a phonetical like? I don't know. The A in the name also represents Archangel A twelve precursor to SR seventeen. So part of, wait, so part of the name of the kid is like one of your like projects? What? I can't. I can't with this guy. 
You might as well named your kid Heinz 57. It would have been like more uh, prestigious sounding than whatever this is. What an absolute dope. I can't believe this is supposed to be like the Einstein of our gen or the Edison, I guess, is a better. Uh, yeah, just really you're you're Mr. Innovator guy. Really? Can we skip to the next generation? Can I meet the next innovator guy, please? Or girl, for that matter. Woman. Sorry. Whatever. Uh, good Lord. OK, we're running out of time here. That Rick James, that that Rick, this, or the Stevie Wonder, Subway for free sandwich. I want to thank Frank, his his lovely co-host, and you. I'd like to sing a tune for you right now, that goes, well, it goes like this. He he just. Uh... Oh no. I mean this is This is somehow racist even though it's his own race. I mean this is How do you pull that off? If you know the song sing along. You are the sunshine. Uh, I'm, I've totally forgot. <laughs> I got off track. Yeah. I'm trying to find this guy on All right. So CP Lacey Instagram See, uh, my problem is I don't have an Instagram account. Uh, maybe I can get to the link. I can get to a link like from Google, but I can't go straight there and then like search people on Instagram because I don't have an account. So what I need to do is, what is it, CP Lacey? Let me see. The CP Lacey show? This must be it. Okay, this has got to be it. All right, so I think I can get in here like this, but I can only look. At a few things. Okay, there he is. Oh my God, there he is. 40th birthday celebration. Hey, 40 years ago, you were on Stairway to Stardom. Wa-wa-wa-wa-wa-wa-wee-wa. Wa-wa-wee-wa. There he is. Is he still doing like Rick James impersonations and stuff? Oh, he's doing, he's got a Michael Jackson routine. What is this? What is, is this like? He looks like he had a, like some kind of Robert Downey Jr. skin transformation to look like Lionel Richie. Or is that Lionel Richie? I don't fucking know. Well, he still loves music. That much is. See, this is what happens. I can only play around for so long before Instagram says, sir, uh, we need uh, you to sign up for this. Uh, we want your information. Uh, we're data mining just like anybody else. So sign up if you want to look. Guess what? I'm never signing up to Instagram. I'm never signing up to TikTok. And I'm ready to leave Twitter because it's not Twitter anymore. <laughs> uh, that leaves, uh, yeah. It is very, and Facebook is god awful. I mean, the only reason for this is, you know, Zuckerberg figured it out where, you know, that everyone's going to make connections that they, you know, uh, you know how it is. How, how, what am I supposed to do? Convince, like, I don't even have a shit ton of friends, but let's say I've got like 85 friends that I want to move over to a whole different platform. Am I supposed to, like, convince all 85 individually to do it? It ain't happening. We're stuck with Facebook. So whatever with that one, but yeah, I'm down to basically <laughs> Reddit and uh, not much else. Okay. Uh, well, we're down here to uh, if he's 40. Wait. Oh, I don't think it was for his birthday. It can't be because again, he was four. It w the, the 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 clip is 40 years old, 83. Yeah, he would have to be a newborn baby. He, uh, he's far from that. He's at least 20, right? So you do the math. He's got to be at least 60. Line of my life. That's why I always stay around. You, 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 you. The thing is, like, the impression isn't that bad. Like, you can hear sort of what sounds like Stevie Wonder in there, but... 
but it's such like an iconic song. Like, you know, I, I can sing and sound like a lot of famous singers for certain songs because I've just sung them so many times. And I, I have that sort of minor bird ability to kind of mimic, you know, a person's voice, m depending on the register. Some things are too high or too low. I can't, I can't mimic it, but. Yeah, I mean, this is... You are the apple of my eye. The, the, which, which, which eye? The, the, is that really a heartfelt sentiment if, if you're blind to tell someone you're the apple of their eye when they don't work? Forever you'll stay in my... I never thought about that lyric. Heart. Looky here. Looky here. I've Looky here. <laughs> yeah, Reddit's going down too. I mean, it already was going down. This this whole subreddit was down. It was done. They told me to move over here to uh what is it? Squabble. And then what was the other one everyone was talking about like a month ago for like 2 days? Everyone was like, "Hey, this one is what is it? Just Threads or something?" Is that what it is? Is it just called Threads? I didn't even bother. I mean, how is Threads taking off or what? I don't care. <laughs> oh, it's owned by Instagram. Well, there you go. I'm probably not going to be involved with Threads then. Uh, I don't. Know. To me, Instagram is just like it's the. I, I mean, I'm not saying other. Social media platforms aren't superficial on some level. They all are. But to me, Instagram is just like the pinnacle of superficial garbage. Like, just look how good I look. Look at this food I'm eating. Like, kind of st stuff that just I boggles my mind why anyone would give a damn. Uh, but here I am. I say that running a channel where I react to home shopping channels, wondering how other people could find something interesting. <laughs> so, you know. I don't know, whatever. Feel like this is the beginning. Though I've known you for a million years. Eddie Murphy, eat your heart out. You are out of your mind, dude. So you're acknowledging that you're stealing Eddie Murphy's bit of Stevie Wonder, which I had already referenced, like, the second he started doing it. Like, that's how iconic it is. So you're doing his impression. You're doing an impression of an impression and then telling the guy who does the good impression to, like, take that. You're out of your mind, sir. Look where you are. What is this wicker thing behind you? Does this does this look like Thirty Rock to you? Do, do, do you see uh, do you see Lauren Michaels walking around uh, backstage? Huh? Is uh, Gilda Radner and Dan Aykroyd just off camera admiring uh, your uh, performance? No. You're on Long Island in a in a shack. With some other delusional guy thinking he's, uh, you know, Ed McMahon. This is... This <laughs> it's just... It's just mind-boggling. And if I thought our love was ending, I'd find myself drowning in volunteers. I wish he was holding one of those, like, you know, detachable shower heads. Because that's, that's really what you should be singing into at this point. Oh, you are the sunshine of my life. Whoa, baby. That's why I always I'm going to stay by your side. As long as my name is Stevie. You are the apple woo, of my eye. Aha, I. Wow. You managed to take a word that has three letters and give it four <laughs> syllables. <laughs> How is that possible?
I'm already mesmerized by words like Ohio, where you got three syllables and four letters. This guy made a three-letter word four syllables. That's impossible. Ah hi. Ah hi. How did you do it? How did you do that, sir? You are the apple of my eye. All right, maybe, maybe, maybe I exaggerated a little bit. All right. Forever you'll stay in my heart. La -da -da -do -da. You're not scatting. Hey, Cab Calloway. Could you, uh, no. You're you're not bringing Cab Calloway into this. That's where I draw the line, buddy. All right, you, you can you can go drive a cab somewhere out in Queens, but you're you're not. Thank you. Thank you. He has to say thank you to be able to let the crowd know when they're supposed to applaud. <laughs> That's so sad. You're beautiful. How are you saying you're beautiful? You can't see them. They're Stevie Wonder, remember? I'd find myself drowning in my tears. <laughs> yes, because you are the sunshine of my life. And I'll always remember you. Remember, E equals MC squared. I love the grass because it's greener on the other side of the hill. I love the Frank Massey show, and I'll always be around. First of all, the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. I'm Frank. It's, it's not the hill. What is he? What is he going on about? Yes, because you are the sunshine of my life, and I'll always remember you. Remember, E equals MC squared. Okay. I love the grass because it's greener on the other side of the hill. I love the Frank Massey show, and I'll always be around, Frank, as long as you want me around. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's Stevie Wonder Gang. <laughs> he has to say that's. What I just did was Stevie Wonder, everybody. In case it wasn't clear. Okay, you're a wonderful audience. Now some people. Wait, wait. He, originally the the host, and I know I'm way past midnight. Well, not way past, but you know. The the show should technically be over, but whatever. This has kind of been dude week. We we got a few dudes here. DDH, Shrug, Pool. We're chilling, right? I mean, look how much more of this joint I got to go. You know, the trade deadline's over. I'm kind of just sitting on my hands until I got to go do this visa run in a couple of weeks. I, I ain't got much to do. All right, we chilling. All right. Maybe I'll go a little bit longer. But uh, I forgot what People I was going to say. People always say to me, well, yeah, that's cool. You do a nice Stevie Wonder. Oh, oh God, he just brought out a wig. Oh, it's Michael. Yeah, Michael Jack. I was going to say, originally, the host was like, this guy is like part Rick James, part Stevie Wonder, and part somebody I couldn't remember. But now I remember it's Michael Jackson. I guess that's what's happening here. You do a nice uh, Mick Jagger, which I do. You haven't seen that. I'd Mick Jagger? Oh, shit. Is he going to do white face? Oh, okay. I'm here for this. Quite a few that you haven't seen, but folks say the hottest person on the charts is Michael Jackson. Yeah. Well, I demand to see his Mick Jagger impression. I got to find it. I will not stop. I will scour every dark. I will go into the dark web to find the footage of his Mick Jagger impression. I do a little Michael Jackson. I'd like to do it for you right now. Excuse me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Suddenly now, in order to do Michael Jackson. Suddenly he's Chris Rock. And first of all, you need two very important items. One pair of high water pants. And <laughs> is that high enough, gang? Yeah. Uh, he, so he's transforming in front of us into Michael Jackson. And part of the transformation is adjusting his suspenders. Okay. Yeah. That's high enough? Uh, somebody said, no, wait a second here. 
little bit higher and uh, is this not the saddest set you've ever seen he looks like he's in the room just off the room where the casket is like not not the morning room but like that room to the side where like if you're super sad you can go into and just like kind of be alone for a minute <laughs> that, that, that's the set it's horrid uh we'll be in business How's that? Is that that high enough? Yeah. Because you have to see the socks. The socks are very important. You must keep your eyes on the socks. Yeah, I guess they, I'm sure they have a more sensitive word for it. But, uh, yeah, the crying room, I guess. <laughs> I, 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 I've been in that room. I know what I'm not just making. I, I know the room. I've used it. Okay, you at home. What are you looking at? I said the socks. Okay, let's keep it. Dude, don't worry. We're... Clean. All right, second important thing you have. When was this Michael Jackson's hair? I guess it was, but this is like Billie Jean era, wasn't it? Like, I don't know. Have yourself some hair. This won't get it, okay, all you Michael Jackson impersonators? I mean, this looks like hair from, like, the bad era, like when it got all, like, jerry curled. Well, no, I guess he did have the jerry curl. Won't get it. I don't know. I, I'll just have to see it on his head. Maybe he'll just look like Michael. First of all, dude, your skin. Okay. Actually, I was sitting here thinking he'd be doing white face, doing Mick Jagger, but, and there's that ant again. Ant number two on the microphone. Ant number two. Dude, it's official. I'm, I have an infestation. I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking around for another ant so I can just say to myself, Steve, you got to do something. They're, they just come out of nowhere. These ants. Uh. <laughs> oh, my God. How's that, gang? Is that any better? Gotta have that one, that yeah. one little thing. You must have the strand of hair hanging down, otherwise you're Prince. Okay, there's one last item. You don't have to have it, but if you're... You're absolutely right, Pool. You're absolutely right. It, this is, looks like Little Richard right on the money. You're absolutely right. Pro. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, but he has the gloves. Thank you. He's, a, he, he's almost like a musical carrot top. You're a real good audience. Okay, now if I could just get into a character here. Anytime the engineer's ready, you can throw the tape on. The song that you're about to hear, I played all the instruments in the background. I played the lead guitar, the rhythm guitar, the bass, the drums. But what do I know about show business? Oh, my God. He's in a stance. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh shit. Oh shit. Boom 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 boop boop. Alright, by the way, there's no way I'm not getting copyrighted now. Even the worst rendition of this song, YouTube's gonna find it and say I'm ripping off Michael Jackson. So, so anyone here tonight, you are witnessing probably a stream that will never be archived for anyone else. You are a part of history. <laughs> I love how you hear the crackle of picking up the mic. If she was more like a beauty queen from a movie scene, I said, oh my, but oh, what do you mean? I am the one who would dance. On the floor, in the round. She says, I am the one who would dance on the floor, in the round. <laughs> A peep always told me to be careful what you do. 
I mean, you know. By the way, I really see a lot of Chris Rock in his face. I wonder if he's related. Chris Rock's actually from D.C., my hometown. But obviously he spent some time in New York. And I think around this time he was heading from D.C. to New York to become the Chris Rock we know. Just don't get slapped at the Oscars, okay? She told me her name was Billie Jean And she caused a scene that in every head turn I could dream of being the one Being Being the one I'm a, I'm a human being You know that? I'm a real human being Do a dance on the floor in the round Ooh. <laughs> Honestly, this is just a funeral parlor is not the place to be doing this, sir. People always told me, be careful what you do. Don't go around breaking young girls' hearts. <laughs> I just wanted to help him out. And mama always told me, be careful who you love. Be careful what you do. You're kidding. DDH, are you looking up more CP Lacey facts and you're telling me he was on the Chappelle show? Are, are you... Double questioning, marking your questioning, marking be out of like exasperation, like this is true, or are you like just throwing out a question? What are you saying? What are you saying, BDH? If you tell me this guy made it onto the Chappelle show, no way, according to his website. All right, well, then he should have an IMDb. This guy clearly wants to be a star. If he's got real credits, he's on IMDb. What the hell's this guy's name? CB. Is it Cagney and Lacey? What the hell is this guy's name? CB Buckner. The hell? CP Lacey? Is that it? Oh, look. You can see who I looked up last. Oh, my God. Is this it? Is this it? No, no photo. The Hebrew hammer. Double or nothing. I want to see double or nothing. You know, I lived in Myrtle Beach for a few years, like my last two years of high school and like got a couple of credits out of the way at a community college before I went off to the university. There was, and you know, Myrtle, Be Myrtle Beach is just full of uh, strip clubs. And a lot of them just have silly names, but uh, nothing. <laughs> it reminds me, uh, my favorite one it was this one called Nut in, Nut in Butt, Nut in Butt Horseplay. Like N U T apostrophe, no, N U T space N apostrophe b-u-t-t -T, horseplay nut in butt <laughs> there was also uh, a salon down there i moved down there uh i think what was it like 90 must have been the summer of 93 i was yeah maybe 92 either way there was a salon down there called uh too legit to quit hairstyles Somebody had opened up their brand new business, like hair salon or whatever, clearly trying to uh, capitalize off the success of the hit song that was, I guess, number one the week they decided to name their establishment. Because if you remember the song Too Legit to Quit, yeah, it was a hit for like a week. And then everybody was like, yeah, this isn't really as good as you can't touch this or those other ones that was that was like his last quote unquote hit for MC Hammer and yet this poor business decided yeah let's just this will be a lasting name this name has last ability <laughs> too legit to quit all right i need i probably need to get out of here huh? the lie become the true hey, hey. i need to get out of here Billie Jean, not my lover. 
She's just a gal who thinks that I am the one. But oh, I l I love when signs or billboards where you can move letters around. I used I used to that was one of my most common pranks was to rearrange the letters that when possible on certain signs whether they be outdoor or like outside of like a convention or something like in <laughs> I did that I would always I mean not always but if I, when I had the mo when I when I knew I could get away with it, I never got caught doing it I did it I did it a lot the kid is not my son yeah, church sign. She says I am the one, but the kid is not my son. Woo! <laughs> Farty tells him. For yeah. 40 days and the 40 nights, I was on the side. But who can stand when she's in demand? Her schemes <laughs> and plans. So we dance on the floor in the round. Woo! So take he needs to pepper more. Who's and it was performing. My strong advice. Just remember to always think twice. Don't think twice. Oh! She told my baby we danced two, three. Then she looked at me and showed a photo of a big head baby. Eyes were like. Well, this is pre Shamong. Shamong wasn't until the whole bad era, right? This is thriller era. We had to wait. Another four or five years for the shamongs. Mind, so we dance on the floor in the round man. Hee hee Yeah, he he's who's and the occasional crotch grab was the signature moves of the day. Five years later, it he added the shamong and gr started grabbing more crotch. The people always told me, be careful what you do. Don't go around. Big head baby. Wait, what? Where do you hear that? Don't think twice. Don't think twice. She told my baby we danced to three. Then she looked at me and showed a photo of a big head baby. Eyes were like. <laughs> That's not the real lyric, is it? She showed me a photo of a big-headed baby. That's not the fucking... Li Come on. What? <laughs> Who's your offspring? Sloth from the Goonies? What is the... Give me the lyrics to this stupid song. <laughs> Big headed baby. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking John Merrick. Hi, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Jackson. I'm the big headed baby you're singing about. It's nice to meet you. I, I'm all grown up. What does it say? Then showed my photo a baby. Cried his eyes were like mine. Yeah, there's no big headed part. What? He just added big headed. It just photo my baby. We showed a photo my baby cried. His eyes were like mine. How did he even cram big headed in there? <laughs> Maybe that was his only way to get away with like stealing the song like well i changed the lyrics it's clearly a different message i'm going for <laughs> he is a genius <laughs> she showed me a photo of a big headed baby <laughs> eyes were like mine not the forehead but but the eyes just the eyes okay she told my baby we danced two, three. Then she looked at me and showed a photo of a big head baby. Eyes were like mine. So we danced on the floor in the round man. Uh, DDH, are you implying I should make a highlight video, a highlight clip out of the last couple of minutes here? I'm thinking the same. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't mean to think for you, but. <laughs> 
<laughs> but this will be the second. I swear, my two, maybe my two funniest moments on the stream have both involved people with enlarged heads. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I, I don't mean ill will to anyone. <laughs> Just take a screen grab of this. I mean, is this the best the shot devil of him? Always told me. Be I, I don't know which one to grab. What you do. Don't go around breaking young girl's heart. But the day she stood right by me, and with the smell of sweet perfume. <laughs> Jerry Curl just smacking him in the face. <laughs> Much too soon, she walked across the room. Hey, 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 a Billy Jean, not my lover. Oh, she just a gal who thinks that I am the one. I am, but I am, but the ha, kid, ha, this guy, <laughs> this guy just likes adding unnecessary syllables. The kid. <laughs> I am the one. Billy. Woo. Uh, please, please, please. Woo. Don't point at me. Stop pointing. He had other moves besides pointing. Woo! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Run that shit back. Give me some slow mo. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's go. Right here. Uh, there it go. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, I am seeing a man walk on water. He's walking on water. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's why that's how you keep a career going 40 years. <laughs> I like him better this way. Now he's like doing an Irish jig. He's like, he's river dancing off stage. It makes me pick You know you did. <laughs> Breaking my heart, baby. Billy <laughs> Jean, not my love. The Billy Jean. How does he sound better at quarter speed? That's not supposed to happen. I love, ooh, the village, not my love. Woo! Oh my dude, there is like sweat like below his nostrils right now. Ooh, the village, look how it's glistening under his nostrils. He's 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 overworked himself here. Yeah, if, if I'm gonna grab a screenshot, it's gonna be once he's done. Completely out of breath and just completely disheveled. My love. Woo! I mean, I, I might have had it right in there somewhere, to be honest. I mean, he just. Oof. <laughs> uh, it's, getting, it's getting hot in there. <laughs> it's incredibly hot in here today. Incredibly hot in here. Incredibly hot. Yes, I must say it's incredibly hot in here. 
The only problem with this as a screenshot is it doesn't exactly explain what my channel is supposed to be about. Like, if you see this, you're like, how, how is this home shop? <laughs> how is this a home shopping? Uh, uh, what do I call this? Just MJ. Like, what else do you need, right? It's, it's, it's MJ. What are you going to do? Wait a minute. All right. I just see. I should have just waited a sec. That's the shot. <laughs> the funny thing is now he looks more like Rick James than he attempted to look originally. That's, that, that's whoops. I missed it. Hold on. Not my love. Woo! All right. Right there. That's it. That's it. That's the one. Cut. Print. Perfect. You're going to be a star, kid. You're going to be a star. <laughs> Holy cow. I call it MJ. Better MJ. All right. There you go. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't hug me, you sweaty bastard. Great, great, Thank great. Ain't that great? Fine, fine. Now. Thank you so much. All this polyester and sweat. God, can you imagine? Uh, uh, tell me, uh, how long have you been doing that, all these impressions? Oh, for about a month now. A month? A month. Uh, <laughs> the last, uh, that group of four girls singing uh, whatever that Do Run Run song or whatever. They'd been at it for like two weeks or something. This guy's had a month. Look, I get it. You you want to climb your way to stardom, but maybe you need more than like thirty days before you're like on TV. You know. You got to be kidding. kidding. You're beautiful too. Thank you. No, I've been doing this since uh, the beginning of last summer. Oh, he was just being modest or just kind of joking around okay i get it i'm sorry i started on the streets performing doing by the way i'm definitely 11 okay it's about almost 11 30 i've gone a half hour i'm definitely wrapping it up here soon i promise various artists and as a matter of fact because of that i caught you too you know you I was in the crowd he's all out of breath you were, uh, oh, i believe it was in central park uh, exactly uh, yeah that's where i performed from uh-huh and I, I i had you in mind and that was it too you you heard you saw my show right oh yeah i don't I, miss your show oh fine fine oh, i like to hear that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well what do you, do you have any plans on the future any uh, gigs or coming up well frank do you have any plans for the future or any gigs coming up that is just these are people looking for a break not people who are already established like doing tours and shit no he doesn't have any gigs if he does, it's equivalent to his some cousin's restaurant in Queens. Frank, as a matter of fact, from the street performances, I obtained a part in the new movie that's coming out, Cotton Club. Oh, yeah. Cotton yeah. Club. I remember Cotton Club. That was like Gregory Hines. It was like a jazz movie. I can't remember who directed it. Was that like 80, oh, that come out like 86, 85? Cotton Club, 84. Okay, okay. That makes sense. This clip is 83, so. Oh, that was a Coppola joint. That's right. Yeah, I'm sure, you, I'm sure you're right here in the main cast, Mr. Lacey. Let me look for you here. Oh, gee. I see, like, Diane Lane. There's Gregory Hines, Richard Gere, Nicolas Cage, Fred Gwynn. Wow, I know. No sign of C.P. Lacey. I... I s I'm sure it has its own, like, sub-wiki entry or something, right? C.P. Lacey, the star of the Cotton Club. Is that even on here? I didn't see that. That's it. These are all... You're not even... You're a liar, sir. <laughs> This is almost Joker level. This is almost Joker level, kind of like I want to be on TV stuff. Look for it. Yeah. And uh, I've done some German television as because of the streets and.
I've done. What were you on Pearl TV? Some German television. That sounds. That sounds a little bit sketch, my friend. I done the Frank Massey show all of a sudden. Right. <laughs> Put me yeah. on your resume. Put me on your definitely, resume. Definitely, yeah. definitely. All right. When you're mentioning the gig you're doing in the moment, you're probably revealing that you don't have a lot going on. You know, it's nice that uh, Michael Jackson's uh, fully recovered now. And uh, oh, isn't that uh, sad? Yeah. Hair is growing back. Oh, this was right after the Pepsi hair on fire incident. God, was it that early? I thought it was like 85 or so. Yeah, that whole thing was ridiculous. Oh, that's good. good. Yeah. So, uh, 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 CP Lacey. Oh, no, my hair is not on fire. Thanks for asking. Everybody. God bless you. Good God bless you. you. Good luck. <laughs> How about him, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, CP Lacey. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a word, a message from our dear friend, Evie Day. Take it away, Evie. Hello. Hope you're enjoying the show. Yeah, it was great. I got to go now. <laughs> I got to go. Wow. Folks, I'm telling you, the last two streams, I have given you the business. I've given you an extra half hour or more of fun entertainment. All right, maybe yesterday I wasn't always fun. But today was pretty much nothing but fun, right? I didn't go off on too many rants, right? I'm not too upset. Probably the most upsetting thing is finding two ants on my microphone. All right, let me go ahead and uh, get to the wrap-up here. Remember, Reddit uh, QVC uh, is back. Uh, head on over there and uh, follow that uh, group if you want. I was asked if I wanted to take over as the mod, but the previous mod, like, vanished. And she was the one... Apparently, there are no, like... Ac oh, okay, maybe there's a one mod. I get Somebody's got to be a mod. She asked me if I wanted to take over as the mod, but then she said, well, then there's this squabble page, which is like this new uh, platform. And I'm like, okay, yeah. If places like Reddit and Twitter are falling apart and this is the new place to be, uh, let me head over there now and get it on the ground floor and uh, start my own uh, thing. So I did. But, uh, yeah, uh, it's not, a gr not exactly growing. Over here. Squabble's kind of the social media version of my channel. It's just the growth isn't there. Okay, let me hurry up and get um I've had enough. I've done enough. I've had enough. There's our bingo tonight. If you missed it, there it is. Let me just get rid of Elon's stupid page. The Orioles won again, by the way. There is the final score. Uh Stairway to Stardom was the big hit for the night. And that's all the stuff. Let me bring this up a little bit. Uh, hoping after two and a half hours, I don't look totally off. Okay. Yeah. I've seen voice. I've seen voice. Hey, thanks for joining me tonight. DDH and pool a big, big super. Thanks to you guys for being here pretty much from start to finish. Right. I mean, this was a bit of a marathon, but, uh, I feel like we've, we've bonded even more. This band of Ken's we've had our Ken night. We may have to go back to m mingling again with that other gender. Oh, yeah. oh genders. Oh. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know what I'm doing. I was born with this thing between my legs. I didn't ask for it. I didn't ask for whatever privilege I was given. You know, I'm sorry. Huh? And then by defending uh, the, the other uh, side... I then become emasculated by males. I'm looked at like some beta cuck because I'm not trying to be the next Andrew Tate. So I, I, I get screwed both ways by being like a sensitive man. Like I, I, I don't get I don't get I don't get to be Ken and I don't get to be Barbie. I'm, I'm the I'm the what's his face? The Scott Pilgrim kid version of the movie. All right. I'm talking too much. I can't stop talking about Barbie. I'm sorry. All right, that's it for the Barbie discussion. I promise. It's just that I want to talk about it from a different angle than all these other takes I've been seeing, which keeps focusing on the message itself rather than focusing on the fact that somebody made a movie where they're just basically spoon-feeding you a message instead of giving you a plot for, like, the last hour of the movie. Like, I, I'm sorry. I like to 
like have a theme sort of just develop in my own head and then I figure out how to interpret it and, and take something away, my own personal interpretation of a movie. You know, you don't just spell it out and then beat me over the head with a message. Like, it's not a movie, in my opinion. You know, no matter what the message is. It's not that the, what, it's not that the message is bad. It's that making it about a message, whatever, not for me. All right, uh, I'm done. May, I just feel really talkative. I think it's because the trade deadline just passed. The Orioles won the night. I was worried that they were going to come out tonight feeling a little bit down. They, did, they didn't get the guy they wanted, uh, you know, like Verlander or something, and maybe they dragged their feet a little bit. They didn't. They came out like gangbusters. They scored in the first. They took the early lead, and then they just crushed the Blue Jays late on in the game. They look great. They don't look like they missed a beat. We're ready for the postseason. There's two months to go. I'm going to get more and more, like, anxiety-fueled as it goes. I hope people around uh, enjoy me with that, even though this is a home shopping reaction channel. I don't care. I'm all over the place right now because something's happening that probably isn't, hasn't happened for, like, 40 years and probably won't happen for another 40. And I'm 46 right now. You do the math. This is the time. I got to focus on it. But I'm going to make it work, okay? I'm going to do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow that. We're going to talk about it a little bit. I hope you don't mind. And, uh, yeah, do me a favor, uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, and whatever, okay? I got to get out of here. I've been here too long. A lot of talking. Sorry. Have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. And, yeah.